Well, goats, happy Friday. How's it going? <laughs> all right, so um, today uh, we're going to be starting off with, for all tracks, we're going to start off with our week five of strict pull up or strict chest to bar or chest to ring um, progression work. So your 20 sets at 20% of your max a set of those um, of your pull ups, okay? Um, just remember, rest is needed, make sure that all those sets are done unbroken. If you don't get it done unbroken, then you have to redo that set. Good reminder. All right. Um, and then after, if you are in the bear track, if you don't have uh, your, the means of doing your strict pull-ups, then you have your backpack rows again. So just grabbing your backpack, bending over, hinging at those hips, make sure that you stay nice and rigid, and then pull it in, pull extension. Once again, if you have any room, um, questions or concerns or you haven't been given a, a scaled option, um, please hit me or Jason up so we can give uh, the right uh, scaling options for you. You have um, also for each track, you have your post uh, workout of some tall planks with your reaches. So you can use a change plate um, or no weight at all. But all we're going to do is in that plank or push up position, we can take that change plate Take it down to our foot and then reach all the way out for five reps. Making sure that when we're doing these reps, that again we're not tilting our hips off to the side to counteract that balance. Make sure that we're trying to stay as straight as possible. Keep those hips straight. Once you've done five on your left, change your arms. That is for all tracks after your AMRAP today, which we'll now go over now. So, bear track. Woo. We have a 20 minute AMRAP. Starting off with a 60 second handstand hold. So you'll get yourself upside down um, against the wall. Should I do it? Let's do it. So you can either kick up or you can walk yourself up. Make sure that you're locked out. And then just hold in that position as long as you can for that 60 seconds or you can even accumulate the 60 seconds as well okay control yourself down make sure that you're able to do so um, without injury you'll then go into 50 mountain climbers so into that push-up position knee to elbow nice and fast or if you need to scale it you can just bring your foot up if you need to. Cool. 40 alternating step ups. When you're doing your step ups, could be like on a stack place like so. You're stepping up, make sure that the top of the box or whatever you're using to step onto that your hips and knees are locked out. Cool. You'll then do 30 hip thrusts. So you can do this on the ground as well. Right on the ground, arms off to the side. And then make sure that you fully extend those hips as high as you can. Get into that full extension, but touches the ground every rep. Cool. 20 Superman lifts, you then roll over. And then with your legs straight, arms straight overhead. Then bringing your chest off of the ground, your feet off the ground. That's one rep there. Two, three. And then you will either do 10 strict pull-ups Again, chin above the bar or over the rings, or if you don't have the means, doing your backpack rows. Cool, that is the bear track workout. Bowels workout, you have a 20 minute air wrap. 60 second hollow hop. So again, coming up against the wall, control yourself up nice and easy. Make sure that your feet don't hit the ceiling if you're as tall as me. Control yourself, hold yourself there in that nice tight straight position. Keep that core activated, push it out. Hold there for 60 seconds. Cool. 50 mountain climbs. Again, in that push-up position. Knees coming into your elbows. Or if you're not able to do so without injury, you can do a lot a little bit easier like so. Cool. Alternating step-ups. So again, stepping up, coming down. Alternating legs. Make sure hips and knees are locked out at the top every rep. Cool. You'll then have your kettlebell swing. 
So again, quick tip, start it with a little bit in front of you. So when you hinge at the hips, that kettlebell is going to naturally swing back so you can start your first rep. You have your Russian kettlebell swings or you have your full kettlebell swings. Make sure that you don't hit the ceiling. Have that bottom of the kettlebell facing towards the sky. Make sure that the more hip thrusts that you use, the easier it is for your arms to get that kettlebell up over here. Ooh. You'll then do 20 Superman lifts. So lying on the ground, feet and arms extended. Bring your feet and legs off the ground and that chest off the ground as well. Every rep. And then 10 strict pull-ups for the bear track, bowels track, sorry. Make sure chin above the bar, down to full extension every rep. Business, we have a 20 minute hand wrap for you with a 60 second handstand hold. So coming up, gets the wall, and that an awesome workout. Make sure that your feet don't touch the, or hit the ceiling. Don't wanna do all, any extra renovations when we get back into the gym. Hold yourself there for 60 seconds. You'll then do 40 sumo deadlift high pulls. So with your barbell, weight is going to be 40 kilos for the men, 30 for the ladies. Getting in that sumo stance. So legs nice and wide, and then thrusting those hips up and the momentum that you create with your leg drive, is then gonna help get the bar up to your chin, holding that narrow grip. Cool. Sumo did the fight. You'll then do with the same barbell, 20 thrusters. Whew. With your thruster, make sure you hit that bottom squat position, thrust it up to that locked out overhead position. Thruster. Cool. You'll then perform 10 muscle ups, can be bow or rings, whatever you have on hand. Or if you're unable to do muscle ups, you will also perform 10 strict pull ups. Uh, warm ups will be posted in the link below. Until then, see you in the world.